Good morning, everybody. Starting the crude oil session this morning. Thought I'd flip on the recorder. There's a short trade here. Got airspace below. I can get in sync with the trade if it comes back down. Entry at 76.38. Let's go ahead and place that. Looks like the target and stop is perfectly placed already. That's the function of a good template. Further targets down, 76, that's there, 75.90. Wow, everything's there perfectly. Don't even have to move anything. Order filled. And just got filled. <clears throat> Definitely in a little bit of a consolidation here. Markets have been rallying since this morning, at least short term. Did make a new high here, failed to follow through, got the setup to go short, and our cloud control rules let us take this trade. During the setup, you have airspace, no cloud coming between the entry and target one. So that's a trade we can take. It may want to come up and test these highs of the day up here. No way to know. Or come up, maybe fail to get higher we'll see At this point there's nothing to do just let the trade do its thing yeah stop and reverse so we got to go for that 56 So I made an adjustment whenever we have a stop and reverse. We want to try to stay with the original trade. So I'm pushing the entry up past this key level of 55 up to 56. It's a little awkward because of the way the chart is, but that's how much of an adjustment I would make on any trade. Can't go too far. And hopefully that's enough to keep us in the short trade. The price starts moving lower. I'll have the chance to perhaps cancel the long setup. But if it goes up, I'll have to flip over to long and hope it makes new highs for the day and gets to targets. Order but filled. There it is. So just flipped over to long. And now we're long. So first trade of the morning, partial loss. So now if we can get through some the high of the day and continue to rally upward. This trade can do very well. So I'm gonna double check my levels here. They moved because of slippage. Here we go. Testing the highs of the day and our money management level right there, right below the high of the day. And we just hit the money management level and hitting the high of the day. And the stop would move to 53, it doesn't eliminate the risk altogether because of our adjusted entry. Normally you'd lock in one tick, but we got in a little bit beyond. I actually had positive slippage, that's interesting. So um, hopefully we stay in this trade and it pushes through the high of the day here. There it is, look at that. Almost getting to target. Now we can move our stop Order up. Order filled. We did hit the target, and the stop will continue to trail higher. Order filled. And the second target, look at that. Let's move this stop up to 77. Yeah. It's just slow for the graphic to move. And one tick away from the full target. Stop goes to 83 now. We'd like to get that full target. Missed by one tick. Quite often I'll just mark it out. Look, it was right at the key level of 99 and the 77 even. Let's see if it tries to get up there again. Trading with micro lots as I continue to practice this unique strategy that works so well, in my opinion, the best work I've ever done. Just dialing in the nuances and stuff. I always like to trade small and also when I'm recording the recorder saps my resources on the computer you can see how I move handles and it 
delays and the graphics. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it has to do with the recorder or what, but I always like to be cautious when I'm demonstrating the system. But as you can see, if we hit target one, uh, target two, target three, try to get to target four, missed it by one tick. The trailer is up protecting this position. Maybe it'll make another run up and I'll hit the full target. Otherwise, I'll stop out at the trailer. The first trade uh, went short over here. And the rules say you could take that trade. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. It flipped over with a partial loss and then a nice two target winner and possibly a third target coming up here in a second. If it can get up three more ticks, it's the key level is always difficult. You can see the high of the day Order right there. Filled. There it is. So just hit the full target and those two trades gives me a positive result. That's power of quitting. It's about uh, 44 ticks of total profit and a uh, power of quitting with two trades. I hope you enjoyed this live demonstration of my new cloud control with crude oil. Make sure you get on the early bird registration. We have our pre-release party coming up February 28th and on March 2nd, but you have to be on the early bird list to be invited to see and learn more about cloud control. It's my newest strategy in over four years. I'm super excited about it. It's a pleasure to trade. Yes, as always, nothing wins 100%, but following our structured rules and being able to quit your session with a winning result a vast majority of the time with efficient and minimal trading, that's the key to success. Imagine taking this trade six months from now with a much larger position size, et cetera, et cetera. Take some pressure off yourself when you just worry about executing the plan and you don't worry about whether a trade wins or loses because you have the confidence and belief that the strategy wins so much that it's going to achieve your financial goals. Hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, get on the early bird registration list so you don't miss out on the ground floor opportunities. We always release this to our backpack trader community first before it's available to the general public. Here's your chance to get in on that. Hope to see you there.